is an um, event, international event that is organized uh, in three different countries by the German Corporation. It is the second annual largest mass outcome event in the region. Uh, the idea is that organizations, 10 different organizations, including Nurse, Dominica Republic, and Costa Rica, are all going to come together throughout the month of November and outplant forests. Um, the objective is to outplant 2,600 fragments of corals in, back into its natural environment. Our goal is 300 corals outplanted. That was also our goal last year, and we surpassed it quite a bit. So hopefully, we're going to do that again. Uh, last year, we had a lot of fun. We did three days. Uh, we had 26 volunteers with just the one dive shop. It was very time divers last year. And we had we had outplanted in three days 360 fragments. It was super, super fun. Um, and this year, what are we going to do? This year, we're doing things a little bit differently because last year we only had a week to do everything. This year, we have the whole month. So we've got a little bit more time to kind of have some more fun. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to be doing the three different five centers of three different weeks. So, the first one is this Friday at Coconut Tree. Um, if you want to attend there, there will be a sign up sheet for all of these dives at the end. I, they, will, they will be available and you come and sign up for the dives. Um, there, um, so if for that, we, want to be, we would like everyone to be there at 8.30 a.m. And then next Friday, we will be at Grow Tan Hand Divers, um, where everyone needs to be there at nine. And then the following week, we will be at Green Divers. Uh, again, everyone needs to be there at nine. Um, these will both be two dives each day. Uh, for coconut tree, we will not be coming back between dives. So if you sign up for that, we will sign up for both dives. Um, but with proton divers and green gliders, we have a bit more flexibility. We can come back in between dives if we need to. We will definitely be coming back with proton divers. Um, so we will be in six. 30 teams of two plus two leaders split between two boats probably. These buddy teams will probably be assigned. I like to assign them simply because I can make sure that people that have a little less experience, who maybe haven't done this in a really long time, can be with a bit, someone who's a bit more experienced. That way, it, everyone's got the support they need. There will also be two leaders, one of which will be me, and one of which will be one of the lovely coral restoration instructors that are scattered around the crowd. <laughs> The, we will be coming around with mixing the epoxy for you and also helping you out if you guys are in trouble, kind of troubleshooting, anything else, and also taking data and taking photos of the outcomes and all the stuff that we have to do to make sure that we remember what we've done. Um, the first part of the day will be on the on the boat, we will be going straight to the Rotan Marine Park Nursery, which is out of NC Quest Deep. Um, hopefully. You've all been there because um, you've done the course. Um, um, we will be collecting one cluster per buddy team, um, and that cluster will already be ready in a um, in a basket already hanging in tree. They will everything will be pre-cut very easy. Already have the tag and the genotype on. Um, Does everyone here speak English? Yeah, cool. If you ask that in English, then. Yeah. Are you not in English? Cool. Um, so we are then going to travel to the Alpine site, which is shallow type of crossing. Um, and all of these um, Alpine little spots. Well, they've already been marked with a little float like this. We put them in yesterday. Hopefully, they're still there. It's been coming with you. <laughs> um, uh, so, as I said, one leader will be mixing epoxies. The other one will be helping everyone get to their buddy team, um, to the sites, and taking data. Um, basically, once you're in the water with your buddy team, um, you go you go to a spot, you find a spot, and you just kind of get to work. Um, Hopefully everyone here has done the course as that is a requirement for participating in this event. Um, if you haven't done it yet, 
there's a couple that's coming. I think there's one tomorrow. Yes, speak to Fiona. Um, <laughs> and, you know, as I've said, this is not just all in this week, there's next week and the following week. So there is time in between to get to do the course if you have not yet. Um, basically, you're going to get to your spot and then you're just going to up up. And it's hopefully you will know how to do that because you've been taught in the course. And we're also the lovely Suzanne over there. Maritan Divers is going to give us all a bit of a refresher after I spoke about all these logistics. Um, and so, yeah, so we're just going to go out, we're going to up up. There will be people swimming around helping out um, if anyone's in need, but it's all pretty straightforward and we should be able to get to it. And then we're going to hopefully be, take about an hour for that dive. Um, the leaders will be keeping an eye on the time. If you're finished, if you are finished with your out plant early, um, Please go to see what's going on. If there's another group that's taking a bit longer, maybe go and help them out. Don't go all both pairs to one um, one cluster, one group. We don't really want more too many people surrounded by one cluster because it gets a bit crowded and then that's how um, pieces get broken off. Um, that's why the ideal number is two, but sometimes some people are super speedy, some people aren't. It's just then we're going to go back and we're going to do it all over again on the second dive. Um, hopefully, um, we will have all the crates already there, or we will go back to the nursery, depending on the dive shop. Um, and we'll do that. There may be some extra crates, especially on the, the later days, as people get a little bit better at this, a little bit more practiced, I should say. Um, people, it gets, it's once you get the hang of it, you can do it really quickly and it's really easy. Uh, so we can actually kind of speed up a little bit, maybe do two clusters in a dive, that sort of thing. We'll find out. Um, mentions and hashtags. This is a lovely QR code, which I will show again later for those who want it. That's to sign up for our form. That's to sign up online. If you do that, you can then add your handle on whatever social, preferred social media between Instagram and Facebook. Um, that you like, and we can mention you in all of our posts and publications. Um, if you yourself are posting anything, uh, please mention, please tag these two people, that is GIZ, the lovely people that are organizing this whole thing, and also us, we're at Town Marine Park, there's a movie called Hashtag, that is the Forum Mania 2022. Um, so please do mention that. The QR code comes in your hand. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Please remember to bring um, reusable water bottles, water, sodas, and fruit will be provided for um, all of the dives, up, well, in the, in the surface interval. So don't worry about having to bring it, but please bring the reusable water bottles so no one's having to use plastic. That's not what we are all about, um, or getting confused by using cups and shop, et cetera. Um, and yeah, does anyone have any questions about logistics before I hand over to Suzanne? Yes. Um, if anyone's signing for the first unit, which is this Friday and needs gear, you could just mention that on the on the list and maybe that we can get you Yes, thank you very much. Um, please do let us know if you don't have gear and we'll try and figure that out. Um, um, any other questions? Oh, also when signing up, um, please can you, so the sign up sheet looks like this, I'll bring them out at the end once we've had our lovely little choral class. Um, uh, there is relatively limited number of spaces um, on the boat um, and there's two different dives, you can sign up for just the one dive if that's necessary. Um, obviously it's more fun to come to boat. But, um, but please also put your email afterwards if you, um, because then we can kind of help you send out the, try and do the, um, the registration with the individual dive shops in advance. And we're not um, wasting time in the morning trying to do that. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna hand over to the lovely Suzanne now. And she's gonna talk Thank about you. the yeah, I 
Hi, everybody. I'm Suzanne. I work over at Rich and Divers. Um, I was able to participate in Coral Mania last year. I've done a whole lot of stuff with Coral Restoration throughout the years. I'm going to do a quick refresher on some outplanting in case it's been a little while. Who's outplanted within the last like four months? Lots of people. Okay, okay. So there's some people that have, you kind of get, but it's always good to do a nice little review so that you're ready so that we can make sure that our efforts aren't being wasted by making sure we attach the coals appropriately and efficiently. Um, I will request, as uh, Grace mentioned, if you're signing up for the day that our dive shop is putting out the code, which is the 18th, um, if you do need rental gear to show up early so that we can make sure we get you all of the gear that you need from our dive shop, we're happy to loan you whatever it is that you need, but please, 15 minutes prior to the rest of the game, so you can get it in kitted, and that way you're familiar with the game. Good? Okay, I'm going to uh, The main core we're probably going to be focusing on the most, since we have the most of it, is the Acropora <clears throat> Sotoconus. <laughs> um, sorry, it's got all the monos from all the teaching that we've been doing. Um, everybody remembers we want those three wonderful amazing points of contact, right? Cool. And the most important thing is to make sure that we're clearing the space for the epoxy to go. Okay. I think most often the problem with uh, corals failing to attach is you're not scraping the reef quite as efficiently as it needs to be. That coral reef structure that we're going to be attaching our corals to it has algae growing on it. So it's really important to spend the time using that hammer and gently kind of banging and scraping and banging and scraping. I always use my thumb to kind of feel what that space looks like. Remember, we're looking for that Oreo shape and you really want to make sure it's got a bit of a rough. It kind of feels like the top of like a brittle pad or something. That's what you really, really want. So you find corals that have toppled over and not attached correctly they usually will have the epoxy is still attached to it. So the epoxy sticks to the coral fragment easily, but not the substrate that we're trying to attach it to. So spend your time. Okay. So what I'll usually do, obviously the reef is very dynamic. It's not a flat surface like the tabletop. So maybe use something. And you want to just kind of grab your coral and play around with it. Where does it look like it's going to be happy? This isn't very stable coral, right? That doesn't look like it. A wave is not going to disrupt it. So you want to kind of play around and think about where it might be nice and happy. I even give it a bit of a wave to see if it stays still, even without the epoxy first. Then what I do, and this is the real tricky part, is thinking about those three points. Identify where you're going to attach your corals. All right, one there, one there, and one there. Cool. Now, I always just gently move it, keeping the coral orientated in the same way. If you go, ah, oh, yeah, that looks good. If you have one of those spiky ones, like Acer 35, the banging as spiky as coral ever, you're never going to remember what spike you were thinking about. So really pay attention to those one, two, three points of contact. Once you've got her down, okay, start working. Grab your hammer, okay, and then gently move it. Bang, 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 scrape, scrape, scrape. Bang, 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 scrape, scrape, scrape. Wave and then check it out and then reorient it. Sometimes if you make a little bit of a divot, it changes slightly that other point of contact that you were thinking about. All right, I've got that first one done. Good, nice and rough. Bang, 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 scrape, scrape, scrape. Yeah, 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 feels good. Again, check her out. And then the third one, bang, 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 scrape, scrape, bang, bang, scrape, scrape, scrape. Take your time, it's coral. Everything in coral, is dependent on time. Okay? There's no rush to get things done. Once you reconfirm that you have your one, two, three points of contact, take your coral away. Okay? Give it a nice little wave to make sure nothing is resettled on your little wonderful points of contact. And then get your epoxy you remote. Remember, we're doing those Oreos, then we move on to the blueberries, right? Blueberries tend to be like this. Us leaders that are going to be going around preparing your epoxy are going to be mixing the epoxy. So once we give you your ball, you don't need to remix it. An overmixed epoxy just turns into goop and it loses its effectiveness. So just grab your, your blueberry, give it its little shape. That's a good size. 
More epoxy isn't more better. Okay, we want to be really efficient and conservative with the, our materials for one. And two, it takes about an hour for the blueberries to set and harden. When you're making those big pieces, it takes a lot longer. So think about using things conservatively because it's going to benefit you and the plant. Once you've got your little blueberries, I usually like to make my three blueberries all at the same time. You put them into your little wonderful rough Oreos that you've created. Okay, there's one here. And now we move on to the Hershey Kiss phase of pot planting, right? There's one there. Remember, you want that nice wide base and pull that tip out so that way the tip of your coral is going to set in there nicely. One there. And, you know, one was, I guess, over here. All right, now comes the challenging part. What I really like to remind people of is you want to do one, two, three, all at the same time. If you put one tip in and then try to move it, you're going to pull the epoxy off. And then you've got to get a whole other blueberry because it's getting used too much. So really try to get those three points in all at the same time, right? I usually will end up having my fins up, A, during the entire time because I don't want to be kicking in your group behind me. And I want to be pushing down into the coral. If you're pushing it this way, it tends to slide a little bit. So you really want to have that downward force on. All right. I did not pay attention to my desk points. There you go. Cool. So one, two, and three all in at the same time. Once you have your tips in, I usually hold it for just a second. And now I can just bring those tips up and get it onto the coral nicely. There she goes. As a final test, what do we do? Give another little wave. Be really, really careful not to bash it. And be really careful. Remember, you want to think about that strategy of going inside to out. If I work and I do this amazing job, and now my buddy starts outplanting right here, you're going to knock it off. Okay. If you do, it's okay, but do go ahead and get new blueberries. The epoxy doesn't like being remolded or second felt. Okay. In that terms, we have plenty of epoxy for you guys. No worries. Cool. Squish and smooth, blueberries, Oreos, Hershey's. Everybody is good. Are there any questions about some of the outplanting reminders and strategies? Cool. I do recommend making sure all of your stuff is nice and close to your body. Think about that good buoyancy, keeping your fins out, monitoring your air very good, conservatively and closely, working together with your buddy, and also considering the other living corals that might be around you. That you want to think about how your corals are going to grow. They want to be close enough, will they eventually fuse, but not so close that you're going to disrupt them while you're out there doing the next pieces. Cool. All right. Plenty of fragments, and Jen made some amazing, beautiful orange play doh for people to play around with. Everybody can grab a piece and do a little practice -y. Use cups, whatever it is. Don't mess up Patrick's stuff. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> um, thanks, guys. I'm really excited about getting to go on out with everybody and do a cool mania. Super fun. <laughs> Check. Yeah, we're gonna have some of those gears down around monitoring and making sure that you're doing your 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 profits nice and fresh. Okay, so don't be shy, guys. It's all good. Last week was my favorite part. Roatan Marine Park, connecting you with the ocean.